Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English and this is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we shall have the discussion of the 2024 examination question paper of second semester BA Generic English. That is Bangalore University question paper and the examination happened in the month of July 2024. This question paper can also be considered as a practice paper for the BNE students. So, dear, dear BNE students, you can also use this paper as a practice paper. So, let's now begin the, the discussion of the second semester BA Genetic English 2024 examination question paper under Bangalore University. Section A, as usual, you have 40 marks workbook and the very first question which appears on a question paper is here. You have to read the passage carefully and you need to answer the questions set on the passage. So you need to answer the questions which are set on the passage. So five questions will be set on this passage. You need to, you have to read the answer. You can pause the video. You can read the, the passage. And this is how the questions will appear. True, false, fill in the blanks or give a suitable title uh, to the passage. So one, uh, one question is equal to one mark. So totally five questions, five marks. Second question you have here, do as directed. Here your vocabulary, etc. So very first question, you need to identify the suitable antonyms for the following words given in the bracket. So you have the three words are here, cowardice, fearful, narrow. So the suitable anonyms, sorry, suitable antonyms of bravery, antony antonyms means to say the opposite meaning. Bravery's antonym is here, cowardice. Then uh, the antonym of broad is here, narrow. So that is for one mark. Then suitable synonyms. Synonyms means to say the similar meaning. So we have three words, begin, irritated, understood. So we start, the synonym of start is here, begin. Synonym of angry is here, irritated. So we begin the college at 8 a.m. I was irritated with her. So synonym for one mark, antonyms for one mark. <coughs> Next question we have here. Uh, we need to add here prefix. We need to add here prefix for legal, illegal, for place, replace. That's for one mark. We need to add here suffix for bore, boredom, for logic, logical. So logical, al, for bore, dom, boredom. That is for prefix and suffix. Then we have the questions. We need to frame the sentences using those two collocations, deep feeling and strong sense. So you need to make very meaningful sentence. So when it comes to love, a casual question hides deep feeling. We, she had a strong sense of commitment. So like this, you need to frame the sentence. That's for one mark. So each questions are for one mark. Next question you have here. Um, yeah, from you. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a minute. You have here two questions. Each question is for one mark. Mention the two benefits of active listening. Resolve conflicts, it resolves conflicts, anticipates problems. What's the difference between hearing and listening? Hearing is simply the physical process of perceiving sound while listening involves understanding and responding to what you have heard, right? So listening is active and hearing is quite passive. So these questions are from the topic listening skill. I have already done the videos on the listening skill. You can find the important link in the description box. Two marks questions, one for each mark. Now you have poem here. You need to read the poem. It's an unseen short poem. You need to read the poem and you need to give a short summary or you need to analyze the poem. So I have analyzed this poem. You can pause the video and you can go through it. While analyzing the poem, try to find out the theme of the poem. What does a poet want to convey? Don't write in one, uh, in, I'm sorry, don't write in one page. It's hardly five or six sentences because the marks weightage is here only for two marks so don't don't worry then next question we have here do is directed here what is vocabulary the meaning of vocabulary a vocabulary is a set of words typically the set in a language or the set known as an individual then we need to fill the blanks here we have <clears throat> we have two uh, homo homophones here cc so we need to find out where does it fit the sailor gazed out at the vast C S E A. I blank a bright future ahead. I C S double E. So that's for one mark. 
next question we have here abbreviations uh, this is quite technical question if you know you can easily answer covid abbreviation corona virus disease 2019 who abbreviation world health organization that's for one mark next one word substitute for the following phrases so a three sided shape that's called triangle a period of 100 years that's called century so all these questions are for one mark each then we have next question we need to convert change the following sentences into reported speech direct and indirect speech three questions three marks my mother said i can carry the bags my mother said that she could carry the bags then she said where is your father she asked where his father or her father was the teacher said the first world war started in 1914 the teacher said that the first world war started in 1914 so these this is how watch my video on reported speech then complete the dialogue uh, between two friends planning a weekend trip using the answers given below so i just taken a screenshot from the question paper so you you have these three four words are here preference fine gpa5 future plan so here uh, how are you so the answer is you're fine then i done well i hope to obtain gpa5 what is your future plan of your studies and what is your first preference i have forgotten to mention the fourth option is here what is your first preference okay what is your first preference so this is how four marks very easy only one thing we need to uh, we need to select the appropriate word to uh, to give a meaningful statement next you have next question from communication skills so give two examples of written communication email writing letter writing circular writing memo writing next question write any two important features of paralinguistic accent pitch volume speech rate modulation fluency pause pause means a pause in communication is a break a brief break or an interruption in speech what is verbal communication verbal communication is the use of words to convey a message it involves speaking and listening and it can also occur in face to face interactions it occurs in face to face interactions sometimes over the phone or through the audio or digital means so four questions from communication skills verbal non verbal each for one mark totally four marks so two marks listening skills and four marks communication so listening and communication i have done a separate video you can see the link in the description box and in those videos i given the short questions so you can easily get six out of six the links are available in the description box next questions you have here letter writing you have to write a letter to your friend about a memorable moment which inspires him or her to succeed upsc examination so letter writing is your three marks so it's very informal letter so you can pause the video and you can read the letter next question you have here essay writing so that's for five marks you have two topics you need to select one topic while writing essay you have to keep in mind those four important point one is the title of the essay introduction about the essay the body of the essay then conclusion so i not given answer for this question because you should practice essay writing you should do practice moreover same questions will not be asked the same themes will not be asked in the next examination next question you have your speech writing write a speech on any one of the topics so when you are writing a speech you need to greet the audience how good morning everyone introduce yourself my name is mukesh soni and today on this occasion on the environment day i'm going to deliver a speech on the topic save environment so give a brief introduction about yourself then you talk about the content and at the end of the speech you should thank the audience thank you so much for listening to me thanks once again i thank all the audience for their patience listening so like this the speech writing will be for 3 marks so this is how your workbook questions end here 40 marks questions from the workbook now we have 20 marks questions from the course book you have five lessons in the course book i have done all the lessons summary question answers videos everything is done you can watch all the videos links in the description box now you have here two types of questions one is a two marks five questions and and five marks two questions so let's begin it 
first question you have here how is it possible to a worm to move straight by crawling with astounding strength how is it possible by crawling with the astounding strength why does the worm move toward a drier place because it is seeking safety and comfort what did nathu see when he went to the bank the next day he saw the refuse and the broken glasses and the stones cluttering the steps then next question we have here who is deepchan deepchan is a barber in people nagar the german soldier wants password from the two friends was loknath blind from birth no he was not blind from birth what is rapid globalization according to skelar satyarthi we are connected through high speed internet we exchange goods and services in a single global market each day thousands of flights connect us to every corner of the globe that is called rapid globalization according to kelas satyarthi the greater violence against such children is to deny the dreams yes it's a correct statement now we have five marks questions <clears throat> how did the poet justify his action in the poem the worm the poem title the worm is composed by nisim askel indian english poet dramatist editor as well as an art critic the poem opens with the speaker seeing a worm crawling after rain with astounding strength directed by an inner eye towards a drier place the worm straight root make the speaker jealous he realizes how different he is from it he can use only absurd devious routes to reach his destination is there anywhere a worm blinder than he while the speaker realizes that he is a worm who pretends that he is not one and ventures to advise others on the ways and means of succeeding later the speaker kills the worm and stops its easy mocking victories the speaker asks the worm strength after death further he mentions that the creator the god who has created the worm is aware of the cunning intricacies and the anger of a man the speaker accepts that he can emulate sorry he can emulate the worm's directness all in anger and hence he has killed the worm the speaker comes to the conclusion that he is the most he is most like the worm through his anger he ends the poem with a repetition of his action i have killed the worm next question what happened in the people nagar bank how and how did the news spread The Boy Who Broke the Bank is a very interesting story written by Ruskin Bond. The story relates to the murmuring of a sweeper boy, Nathu, about irregular payment of his salary. It takes the shape of a rumor and results into a collapse of a bank. In the end of story, Nathu, who is responsible for the whole episode, wonders innocently about the incident. Sait Govindram owns a bank at People Nagar town. The bank is financially very sound and has won the trust of the depo- of the depositors. Nathu is a sweeper in the bank. One day, while sweeping the steps of the bank, he grumbles about the irregular payment of his salary by the bank authorities. Sita Ram, the washerman's son, he learns about. He comes to know about Nathu's complaints that he is not getting salary in time. and sita ram in his loose talk with mrs srivasava he says that the bank could not pay to his employees mrs srivasava misunderstands sita ram's statement she believes that the people nagar bank is about to collapse the rumor spreads like a wildfire in the entire town the customer in shock demand their money back they start stoning the bank building break the glasses the next day when nathu goes to the bank for his duty he finds a lot of broken glasses and stones he wonders how it happened he murmurs angrily that the bank authorities are not paying him regularly on one hand and they are also increasing his work for him the event is just a mystery question number 3 explain what rash decision did the two friends make 
the two friends Mansio Morosot a watchmaker and Mansio Sovich a draper would meet on Sundays while fishing both enjoy the pastime and with a few words being spoken between them fall into a comfortable friendship with each other unfortunately they have not been able to meet quite for a long time due to the war one day they happen they meet each other and they happily greet each other they lament not being able to fish due to the war especially on such a nice day they go for a drink at a nearby cafe while drinking mansio sovich recklessly suggests the to go down to the old fishing spot which is occupied which is a occupied territory he knows the colonel and believes that he will let them through the french outpost then they meet again and at this time their fishing rods receive the password and make their way into dangerous territory they point up ahead where the prussian army is and they decide to offer the prussian fish if they should meet any they carefully make their way to the water and both begin to catch many fish the two men near the two men here cannons fire this cannon fire leads them to discuss war though differing on some topics they agree on one point that they should never be free suddenly soldiers arrive and surround the two friends the soldiers bind the man and bring them to an officer the officer tells the man and, and tells the man that he will kill them if they won't tell the password so they should tell the password then they will allow them to go out he tries to individually persuade each one of each man to give up to give up the password and the two friends shake hands and wish each other goodbye then both are shot by the soldiers the soldiers tie morisots and sovich dead bodies to rock and throw them into the water noticing the fish the man caught the officer orders the fish to be cooked and goes back to smoking his pipe so that was a rash decision both the friends they took they they lost their lives hence we can say that the two friends would have not gone would have not got the password to enter the restricted territory they would have saved their lives and would have fought for the country fourth question that's the last question of your question paper what was loknath's advice to the shoe shine boy loknath the shoe shine boy used to have discussion about movies shoe shine boy complains about his low income he stated that his mother was suffering from joint pain and he had two younger brothers and it had become very difficult for him to meet the expenses the present business may not run good as the monsoon sets in monsoon sets in loknath tells him to begin some side business as there were three florist in that locality when they pull the shutters down in the evening they throw away basket full of rose petals the shoe shine boy was suggested to collect those petals and sell them to the vaidji the native doctor of herbal medicine the vaidji would make gulkan a tonic for summer and sell it so that was the advice given by loknath to the shoe shine boy to bring up uh, to get some side income so friends this is how i try to solve the question paper 2024 2024 examination question paper of bangalore university and the b b any students you can use this question paper as a practice question paper so thank you so much for watching this video click on the like button write in the comment box subscribe the channel if you are, if you are not had done it because still we have another two semesters journey so thanks again